Today on Tech Scene Today, I'm going to be creating my own cloud server with the use of a piece of software called OwnCloud. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Prashant and welcome to Tech Scene Today. If this is your first time here and you're interested in consumer tech, creative builds, product reviews, as well as home networking guides, you can start by hitting the subscribe button and clicking the bell icon to get notified every time we post new content. So, cloud computing, most of the time people think it's just somewhere to store your data in thin air or maybe on the internet. But I'm here to tell you that that's wrong. Cloud computing is actually computers and servers, or well, it's mainly servers, but it also could be a computer that's on that's connected to the internet but allows you to connect to it so it's basically it's not storage that's in thin air or maybe you're uploading your files actually to the cloud or saving it on god's computer it's actually computers and servers someone else's computers and servers that are connected to the internet which are given uh, which are you uh, which you are given permission to use for instance, say Google, Google Drive. So it's Google servers with all these terabytes and terabytes of storage, and they give you some space and you can save whatever you want to that space. So it's not you saving it on the internet, you're saving it on actual computers and servers. So today I'm going to be creating my own cloud server, as I said, with the use of a software called OwnCloud. There wasn't any particular reason for me to choose own cloud. Uh, it's just what I googled. This seems to be the most used and most reliable option. And that's the reason I've chose them, right? So um, without further ado, let's get into creating it. Okay, so the first thing for us to do is download the software from own cloud. All right, so let's open up our browser and we're going to go to owncloud.org Alright, hit enter So from here, we're going to go to downloads or download Okay, so from the table of contents you can see that they have quite a few um, different uh, versions of uh, operating system that they support. All right, so own cloud server. I don't know what all the application. Okay, so application. So application is the easiest way to get own cloud up and running in its best and is best for non-technical users. Although I'm not a non-technical user, I'm downloading this because it is easy. So if you remember, my server inside is running VMware ESXi. So I'm going to download a VMware uh, ESXi image, right? And that is just convenient for me. There are other ways in which you could um, install it. So you could install it through Linux. So you could install Linux uh, server and then on top of Linux, you install own cloud and desktop clients for Mac and Windows, right? So we are going to download a desktop client, but for now, we're just downloading the appliance and we're downloading ESXi image. The own cloud download has completed and it is saved here on my desktop. So we're going to be installing this on my server, as I've said, right? If you haven't seen me putting my server together, uh, installing the applications and all the different uh, servers and also virtual machines, there's going to be a link to my uh, playlist of all the videos that are related to the server and that link can be found up there in the YouTube cards, right? So go ahead, check that out if you are interested in server related uh, videos, right? And from here, I'm connecting to the server via my LAN cable 
which is going to my access point, with a uh, range extender access point, which is connecting directly to my network inside my home, right? And if you'd like to see my networking videos, those videos, well, that video playlist is going to be linked up there in the YouTube cards as well. So you can go ahead and check that out as well if you are interested and uh, enjoy. All right, so as I said, our own cloud in, uh, installation has been downloaded. Let's open up to my server, which is VMware. So my server is running VMware ESXi, right? And 10.0.0.5 is my IP address for my server. So I'm going to going to log in and type in my password. All right. So now from here, we're going to go to virtual machines and we're going to create slash register a virtual machine. All right. So now when we go to new virtual machine, we're going to deploy a virtual machine from an OVF or an OVA file. So that's what that's the file that we downloaded because it includes everything that we need to have. So I'm gonna we need to name the virtual machine. It's going to be um, uh, own cloud. O W N C R O U D V M. All right. Next. Oh, I forgot to add the OVF file. So here, there's our OVA file. Added, click next. Select where we're taking storage from. License. Oh, we need to accept and agree to the license agreement. I agree, next. VM network, disk provisioning. Next and finish all right so it is uploading the files and now well soon it will start the installation okay so this is going to take a little while because the network link from here to the server isn't too fast and the file that it's uploading is about a gig 1.7 gig so it will take a while so i'll meet you back after it's uploaded the the disk or it's uploaded the installation alrighty um, alright so now the import has been complete and it's switched on this virtual machine so now we're gonna open a uh, console into it and we're going to uh, continue the installation Right, so now we're actually installing the own cloud, own cloud, the own cloud uh, application. All right, so language to city. All right, next time zone, keyboard, nothing important. Next, okay, so here we are giving it an IP address as well as okay we're giving it an IP address as well as letting it know what the gateway is right so I'm gonna give it the IP address of 10.0.0.10 and my gateway is 10.0.0.3 right so as I said if you want to see how I set up my network as well as what are the access points and all throughout my network that video can be found linked in the YouTube cards. So I really appreciate it if you go ahead and check it out. OK. 
Okay, so domain setup. Um, we're going to manage users and permissions directly on the system. So let's hit next. Organization name. Uh, I need our home. Email address. And password. So password. I'm going to set the password. All right, so let's hit next. All right, so danielhome.internet. So I'm not going to interfere with this because it knows uh, what it's doing. configure system so the the reason I didn't put an email address in uh, when it asks for it I already have uh, deployed this once already as a test run and I do have the, the activation key and stuff to activate on cloud so I didn't need to type that in one eternity later so the setup is finally complete and let's hit finish and now it's going to restart the server and that's why i i chose this over uh installing it with the linux and then this because this was just simple i just input the ip address input my name and and some other information and it installed it in self, uh, itself rather than me installing Linux and then installing own cloud. So now, uh, now that this is complete, we need to open a browser and head over to 10.0.0.10 and then we can manage the cloud.